In this lecture, I am going to discuss about astigmatism. It is a topic in Unit 1, Aberrations of 2nd BSc, 3rd Semester, Physics, Paper 3. Now, what is astigmatism? When a point object O is situated far off from the axis of a lens, then the image formed by the lens is not in a perfect focus. The image consists of two mutually perpendicular lines separated by a finite distance. The two lines are lying perpendicular plates. This defect of image is called as astigmatism. Astigmatism comes under monochromatic aberrations. Monochromatic light means a light of single wavelength. Now coming to the explanation. Consider a point object O which is situated far off from the axis of the lens. Far off means it is a distant object from the lens. The axis of the lens means a line passing through the optic center of the lens. Now, coming to the uh, planes in the lens, a plane M1, M2 containing the principal axis of the lens is called as meridian plane. So, this plane M1, M2 consists of the principal axis. A plane S1, S2 perpendicular to the meridian plane and passing through the principal axis is called sagittal plane. So S1, S2 is the sagittal plane. It is perpendicular to meridian plane M1, M2 and it passes through the principal axis. So here the meridian plane M1, M2 and sagittal plane S1, S2 are perpendicular to each other. Now, consider the rays that are coming from the distant object O, which are passing through these two planes. It is meridian plane M1, M2 and sagittal plane S1, S2. The rays through the meridian plane after refraction through the convex lens come to a horizontal line focus M. Here this is M. So, this M is meridian plane. This is not M. This is M meridian image and the rays that are passing through sagittal plane after refraction come to focus farther away from the lens, farther away from the lens and this image is said to be a sagittal image. If a screen is moved between M and S, that means meridian image and sagittal image, an irregular patch of light is obtained. Thus the image never approaches to a point image. The image here if a screen is moved between this point and this point then you will get a patch of image. So this is the difference. For one object there must be one image but here there are two images. One is meridian image and the sagittal image. They are not coinciding. So, if a screen is moved between meridian image and sagittal image, you will get a patch of light. So, thus the image never approaches to a point image. Hence, the defect is said to be astigmatism. So, if you move the screen between S and M, you will get an irregular patch of light. But at one position, these two Rays. That means the rays are coming from the uh, meridian image and uh, sagittal image are intersecting. So at these intersecting points, you will get a circle like image which is called circle of least con confusion. This circle is a nearest approach to point. So at this circle C, that means circle of least confusion is the nearest approach to the point image. And we can consider this image. The difference between the lines M and S is said to be astigmatic difference. So this is the defect. It is said to be astigmatism. Now, as the astigmatism is the defect of the lens in forming the image, we want to minimize the defect. So there are minimization methods. One is by using stars 
like this. So astigmatism can be minimized with the help of stops by placing them in suitable position. Suitable position. Due to the stops, the rays making large angles with the axis. Large angles with the axis cut off. So the image that is formed with uh, these rays are meridian image. So in this case, the meridian image will be cut off and only one image will be present here. That is sagittal image, which means the defect was somewhat minimized. Now the second is by using the combination of convex lenses. The, in case of convex lens, astigmatic difference is positive and in case of concave lens, astigmatic difference is negative. Therefore, a suitable combination of convex and concave lenses separated by a suitable distance. Here, this is convex lens and this is concave lens. So, by the suitable combination of a convex and concave lens, which are separated by a distance, may be used to reduce the astigmatism. Such combination is said to be an astigmat. Mostly, mostly these and astigmats are used in cameras. So, in these two types of minimization methods, mostly this combination of lenses method is a preferable.